this earlier this week I showed the um, process of making oatmeal slow cooking oatmeal what I've got here are the raisins that are going to go into that oatmeal now this that looks pretty gross right that's only been sitting in water cold water um, it's been sitting here for I would say about an hour and a half but it looked pretty close to this after about 10 minutes of sitting there the reason I'm doing this is because I think I think it's really important to get whatever it is that's on those raisins. I think it's probably sulfites or sulfates off of the raisins before you eat them. Um, sulfites or sulfates, one of them, are put on grapes when the grapes are growing to keep the bugs off the grapes, is my understanding. And raisins are dried grapes, so it would make sense then that what I'm looking at here is the sulfites or sulfates that were added to the grapes that never got removed. Now the water is going to get rid of some of it like you see, but when I put the Bio Green Clean, the 7 to 1 mix, 7 parts water to 1 part concentrate of Bio Green Clean, when I put this on the raisins, um, a lot more of this stuff is going to come off. You know, I could be wrong. It's possible that what I'm removing here is nutritious. I don't think so. I'm thinking this is sulfites or sulfates that were put on the grapes in the field to keep the bugs off. And I love raisins, but this kind of stuff, if, if this is chemicals, I don't want to eat that. So before I add it to my oatmeal, this is what I do. Like I said, this is raisins that have been soaking in water. Nothing else but cool, cool water. I'm going to do one more time with the cool water. Oops, actually this happens to be warm water, but um, I don't think the temperature between lukewarm water and cool water is going to make a world of difference in here. So anyhow, okay, so that's twice with, once with cool water, once with warm water. I'm going to do another with cool water. You know, the raisins really make the, the oatmeal taste a lot better, so I wouldn't want to go without the raisins, but... So you can see, the second round with the water was a lot browner than this round. You know, the water's still pretty clear, and this time I did use cool water. And you can see that the water's coming out really clear. I mean, it's like most of the brown stuff has been removed. Most of the, if it's sulfites or sulfates, most of that stuff has been removed. Now, here comes the bio green clean. Let, let me do this. Let me take a clear little plate. I'm going to put the bio green clean on the plate. This, again, is 7 to 1 mix. Um, I'm going to put it on the plate so you can see that it's fairly clear. I mean, this is not a brown product. Okay, you can see this is a, a, a clear product that's going on. So if it turns a different color, yes, chemicals can t change different colors, but that's not what you're going to see happen here. What you're going to see happen is the, some of the brown stuff that's been stuck on, that, on those raisins is going to come off because of the Bio Green Clean. Now, Bio Green Clean, one of the reasons I love it is because um, it doesn't have poisonous chemicals in it. Um, so, you know, unlike, I mean, it's kind of like that, those veggie washes that, that you find, I feel, I feel it can act like a veggie wash. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Mix the stuff in there and I'll add water. But like you saw, the product itself is not a brown product or a yellow product. 
not a deep yellow product. It is slightly yellow when it comes in, in the concentrate form. Um, so now I'll go ahead and I'll add the cool water to this. And you're going to see a whole lot of brown come off of the raisins. And again, sulfur, if I'm not mistaken, is a yellow color, an amber color, which is part of the reason why I think what's coming out here is sulfites or sulfates. And I probably should figure out what the difference is between the two and which one gets put on foods, grapes in particular. Even in Italy, I could not find a wine that did not have sulfites or sulfates in it. Um, And Europeans and Italians are, are pretty finicky about what they put in their wine. So it would seem that trying to find grapes or raisins or products made with them that don't have sulfites or sulfates in them is going to be a pretty hard task to do. I don't know if you can see that, the color of what the water has turned to. Again, it's not the, not the bio green clean that's this color. It's the raisins that are contributing this color to the water. I keep losing raisins. All right. So you can see that something is coming off those raisins. And again, I think it's sulfites or sulfates. And I've heard enough bad things about those sulfites or sulfates that I don't want to eat more of them than I have to. Now, I'm not going to avoid raisins altogether. I'm just saying if you can clear that stuff off of them, why not do so? If you can easily do it without adding poisonous chemicals to the situation, why not give it a try? I tried it. They don't taste any worse without that stuff on them. I think I'll do one more rinse after this, and then that'll be it for cleaning up the raisins. Then we just add the oatmeal, and then that kind of a meal is done. So that dish is done. Probably a good time to say I finished my last class. I am I have taken all the classes I need to take to be awarded a bachelor's degree from Elmhurst College. So from this point on, any classes I take would probably be as a graduate student. Woohoo! But the reason I say that is because. If you should see any videos made prior to this, they were made at lower resolutions because I was running out of room on my memory card on my camera and I was prioritizing my classes over anything having to do with making videos. And um, So because I was running out of room, I was using a low resolution. Now, if my mind can think of other things, I'm no longer using that low resolution. I'm using the top resolution that I can from my camera. Then we just mix them up them together and it's a decent dish. That's it.